Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. I am Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also make sure to follow Adam Leering on Twitter as well, at Adam Leering. Today we're going to be going over the Commerce Stripe module. Anytime you're building an e-commerce website, you're going to need some way to manage the payments or to take credit card orders through the website. And in this case, we're going to use Stripe. Signing up for a Stripe account is pretty easy, so you can go ahead and do that if you decide to use Stripe. We already have uh, an account here, and you can see it's set in test mode. You can see there's been a few test transactions. And we're also going to need the Commerce Stripe module. And it's just on drupal.org slash project slash commerce underscore stripe. We're using the 1.0-RC6 branch today. So uh, the first step is to go ahead and turn that on. You'll of course need a working Drupal Commerce site before you can even get this far. But assuming you have a working Drupal Commerce site, adding Commerce Stripe is pretty straightforward. So we're going to go ahead and turn this module on. We will click Save. And the first thing we're going to want to do is over in our Stripe dashboard, we're going to want to go to our account settings and grab our API keys. Because I don't want you to be posting money to our account. Well, maybe I should show you so you can post money to our account. But you'll want to keep your API keys secret, so I'm not going to show you that. But you click here and you'll be able to grab those and paste those in. So let's go ahead and go into our store configuration payment methods you'll see there's stripe make sure that if it's disabled you have to enable it first and then you'll want to click this edit link and that will allow you to change your API keys to match whatever is set here in your stripe dashboard so if you click the edit here you're going to see that there's a rule here that runs so when you're selecting available payments for an order it's going to enable the payment method credit card and if you click here we can set the API keys so I'm going to click there once you're on this page you'll be able to use select your commerce order for what the order is select your currency here you will paste in your secret key and your publishable key from your Stripe dashboard and you can also select what you want the payment method display title to be it defaults to just say credit card so you want to enter that in and click save we're going to go ahead and close out of it because I already have it entered from previously and now we're going to go ahead and take a look at our cart which I believe I have a product in here and the product I have is a ebook that we're actually going to be coming out with here pretty soon called the five secrets to becoming a Drupal 7 ninja so keep an eye out for that make sure to subscribe to the newsletter if you haven't already but we'll go ahead and go through the checkout process to see if stripe is in fact working now so go ahead and click checkout We'll need to enter in our billing information. So I'll enter in that information. We don't have a coupon code this time, so we'll go ahead and continue. Now you'll see there's a payment method called credit card that shows up on the checkout page. So I can go ahead and use a test credit card number. and this is just 4-2 uh, repeated eight times so 16 digits select an expiration date that's in the future I don't believe the security code matters we go ahead and hit continue to go to the next step and this will actually charge our test card and this should make the payment show up on the stripe dashboard as you can see we got to the checkout complete page 
and now if everything worked okay we should see a payment here on our Stripe dashboard and there you go you can see that the payment came in now flipping this thing from test mode to live mode is as simple as changing this from test to live and grabbing the correct live API keys rather than the test API keys and placing them inside your payment configuration section for the Commerce Stripe module. And that's really all there is to it. It's a really simple module to collect payments. There's a lot of different payment modules out here. Stripe's not the only one, of course. It just happens to be the one that we're using or will be using for Code Karate. So go ahead and try that out and let me know if you have any questions. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the Daily Dose of Drupal. Bye.